there anything you can teach about this Monday's episode of Eureka? We were all in a limo coming over. And we're like, okay, what happened in that one? And we're like, so we're like, okay, the name is Glimpse. Okay. What happened in that one? <laughs> that was, uh, that one is, that's another fun, that's a really fun Felicia episode where we can spin out. Um, the premise is uh, there's these, it's actually one of my favorite little gadget things. It's contact lenses that use algorithms and science to predict the future and show it to you. And uh, I think so too. Yeah. I gotta be next to Do you find that easy or is that something you have to work hard on? <laughs> it's something I have to work hard to not overdo because just in general, like, I was watching a cut of, uh, of a, an episode of Collins just directed. And there was a point where it's like, oh no, no, we can't have that. Because I literally was just shattering. <laughs> like, I set my line with an arm movement every time. So, yeah, that's always actually been my thing is to try to just sit in a seat. That's the hardest thing for me. I was kind of one of the people doing something. How does it feel to let Fargo finally have some romance after five years playing the character? <laughs> yeah. Well, it's really fun. I mean, I think that's one thing that, you know, is really lacking in making him a character, like an actual character. So, you know, like people don't have like that, that like really romantic thing. It sort of just makes them, they're always going to seem like a beautiful character. Because there's, there's that human element that we all have. Some sort of romance at some time. So, I think it was a really important step for them to do, to make Fargo into an actual person, not just sort of cartoon. Also, I mean, my romances are with Alice and Felicia, but it's pretty awesome. Right. <laughs> and you appear to be developing, the character appears to be developing a type as well. Yeah, yeah, that one's so. Yeah. Uh, maybe in the future seasons. <laughs> I was trying to make Karen Gillan would be next, I guess. Okay. Yeah. Doctor Who. I have a confession. Um, I'm like the only person ever who's never seen Doctor Who. Fair enough. Yeah. Okay. Because people will reference it to me, like on Twitter or something. And I'll be like, what? They misspell something. Are they calling me a name? <laughs> Why did they? What is a TARDIS? Is that offensive? Yes. <laughs> you know, like, look, I'm pretty sure that it's a. Oh, okay. Thank you.